Houses that are still going up might soon have to come down. The cement and paintwork on this new estate in South Yorkshire is barely dry, but plans outlined today for HS2 mean these brand new homes could be demolished. When Rachel and her young family moved on to the development in Mexborough, the high-speed line was coming nowhere near them. But a change to the government's preferred option now has the map showing HS2 right on top of them. We plan to live here for 10 years, um, at least until our son um, went to secondary school. We've just picked out a primary school for him. Um, and it's just heartbreaking that that might all be taken away, that we might have to move from here. The High Speed 2 network will transform rail travel in Great Britain. This original promo shows the South Yorkshire section of line running by a meadow hall on the outskirts of Sheffield, but now the plan is to shift it further east. It's one of a number of tweaks put forward today for consultation. Critics say the whole route should have been finalised long ago and question if the project can come in on schedule and budget. Today, the Transport Secretary said even people who never use HS2 will benefit. High quality transport allows businesses to grow, work together and access a wide range of customers, suppliers and skilled labour markets. By improving connections between our great cities, HS2 will generate jobs, skills and economic growth and help us build an economy that works for all. Residents on the estate back in Mexborough, like Katie, have the government's sympathy and will get compensation. But right now, that doesn't help with what's coming. It will come all the way over our heads here, over the canal, as you can see, straight over, sort of adjacent to that bridge. So we, we'd be underneath it yeah, now? Absolutely. But these are people's lives and these, these are people's homes, beautiful, beautiful landscape. So for the, for the dog and the cat and the kids, it's just really, really lovely and that's why we bought this and we don't want to move at all. If HS2 does come through here, the trains are due to be running on this spot by 2033. Peter Lane, 5 News.